Okay, all right. We're gonna try to have a good time. Probably gonna drink more than we should. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 98 degrees. It's a wee bit warm. Oh, the max of 102. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, hello there guys. Howdy doody, thanks for tuning in. We are headed up this big old hill on the back side of Barnes is the old trampoline palooza. Up to the old big old super shelter. Some of you guys who are not familiar with that, I'll update you on that here in a little bit. But as we know, the past couple campouts have been kind of miserable, and that the recent passing of my uncle, kind of, I want to get out. I don't want to just sit in the house and just dwell. I want to get out, and we're gonna have a nice. Nice overnight, overnight at the big old shelter and uh, just relax, have a couple brewskis. And we're supposed to get some snow, so we'll just sit back, watch the snow fly, have a good time, cook some good food, you know, just live the simple life for a little bit. But it should be a good spot to. Uh, Watch the snow fly. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. Brought my doggo. Some of you guys are not familiar with this thing. This is our super shelter. <laughs> She's a big old thing. We built this thing. Oh, the OGs of the channel know. We built this thing with mostly just uh, donated material and re-salvaging things. This part of the roof here is an old swimming pool, the sides of it. Um, we do have some stuff falling apart. That's old, like, uh, plastic uh, deck boards. Whew. I gotta get in shape. That hill kicks my butt every time. Yeah, it's nothing too crazy. We just wing ding this whole freaking project. But, yeah. Let's get in there. See if we can make it happen for the day, huh? Camp out. Good old time. Well, home sweet home. We haven't really put too much effort into working on this thing in a while. So, it does have a bunch of nooks and crannies that have came out. And you guys can't see nothing. What the heck? That a little better. Just talking in the dark there. Sorry. Oh yeah, we got a dartboard. Um, like you can see up there, we got a bunch of nooks and crannies that need a, a little bit of loving to help get this thing somewhat airtight again. So we'll have to do a little bit of working on that, and then yeah, sit back, hang out, try to have a good old time. Turned into like a the little camp spot slash storage spot for barns as most of you know there's the big old uh, wood stove we had urban still shelter yeah what do you think puppy doggy what do you think what do you think he's excited I don't think he's camped out in here before we do have a big old pile of wood we shall see how long that'll last us. It is rather early in the day. So it's about 11 o'clock. Snow's supposed to be flying here within an hour. So they say. We know how that goes every time I tell you guys that. But uh, yeah, I gotta make another trip back down, grab a few more things, and then we'll start uh, cracking away on this thing, trying to seal it up a little bit. Okay, all right. We're gonna try to have a good time. Probably gonna drink more than we should. And just sit back, reminisce, think about all the good times in life, you know? It's too short to dwell. But you always gotta remember. 
If that makes any sense. Give me this thing. Got some leftover insulation. Now it looks like the mice have had a field day with. Oh yeah. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's holes straight through it. Freaking mice ate it. But price you pay to play. Got a few holes to patch. So let's do that. Well, I don't think Barney should have used Windex on the windows because uh, the dog just ran into it a second. <laughs> he just smacked his nose right in the thing like he was trying to come through the glass. There you are, boy. You're coming through the window. I thought you were coming through a window. We used to have pieces up here. But who knows where the heck those went. A lot of that crap, the wind whips through here and blows all that stuff out. So hopefully we can get it to stay this time. At least for the night, it keeps us all nice and toasty. That'd be great. Oh, that one ain't quite long enough. It'll do, it'll make it work. stuff in there. The stove also keeps the screws up here. I don't know if you see the screw holes or not. It keeps backing every single one of them out. So we gotta add a few more screws to that thing. Get her nice and solid. It's supposed to get high winds, like 25, 35 miles an hour. So we might need to go outside and tighten down the wires that are holding that thing too. And uh, you know, just get ready for some goofy nonsense. So they say. Let's see how it plays out. It's probably gonna happen sooner or later. They said it was supposed to start at like six in the morning and then it keeps getting pushed, but you know how that goes. So we'll see. To a great start. Oh, don't you fall. That thing shifted like crazy. I wonder it's like. It'd be nice if we had a drill, but we got the good old Leatherman. Make do with what we got. Hopefully we can get all of them lined back up. The cool thing is with this, you can put it like it is a drill and have way more uh, push room. <laughs> He's trying to come through the window again. <laughs> push room, leverage, whatever. I think we need to get the drill out a little bit more screws to that, but we'll see what happens. We got a few more, we'll get in there. Nothing better than nothing, but these definitely need tightened up. They got a lot of play in them. Hopefully, we can get it without snapping. Don't try it because you're going to fall on your butt. Break your tail, bro. Think. What do you think? Puppy doggy. It's like going inside. Alright, well, I gotta clean out this freaking fireplace, and that's not that interesting. So, 
while I do that, I'll roll back some of the footage of us, how we got here to this point today. Um, yeah, uh, it, interesting wild ride, but yeah, I'll, I'll run that back for you guys, for some of you guys who are new to the Super Shelter. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy that. We'll do a little sped up version of that. And here you go. That bad boy is in bad shape. There's plenty of holes in this thing, but that's okay. We still got the door and stuff. We just need to get a new barrel, but that thing, man, all those are holes. I don't know if you guys can see that or not very well, but she needs some loving. At least we got the parts for it. We just need a new barrel. But she'll do for the night. Starting to snow. 
flurries. Here she comes. Grab some grass. Get this fire ready to rumble. No shortage of that. If you guys were wondering, yes, this is kind of an urban location. There is houses down yonder. Of course, they just own a few acres of property. No dry tree bark up in there. Got the flurries coming down. They're pretty big flurries. That's awesome. It's gonna be nice to sit by that window, have a cold one, just watch the snow fall. Fire rolling. That's living. Keeping it simple, I suppose. Now, a lot of you guys are probably familiar with these, but I've never tried one of these before. These waterproof matches thing. I'm assuming it's like a flare, but Riffler. Good nature, boy. Woo! It is kind of like a flare. Push that back a little bit. Yeah, okay. Outside temperature, 34 degrees right now. It is prime pickings for the snow. This is the first snow that we've had this year with these thick of flakes right off the bat. So I think we're in for a doozy. I'm excited. Guys, well, it's Mickey's time. It's five o'clock somewhere. The cap number one. Leave your guess in the comments. Well, Barney found a little Goodwill swing. Oh yeah, that's that's cozy right there. Perfect. Even my feet won't dangle on that one. <laughs> Cap number two. Leave your guess in the comments. Oh right. yeah, boy. Cap number three. Me and the butter are both drinking them at the same time, so we got two two caps coming at the same time. So, cap number four. Leave your guys guess in the comments. <laughs> Well, everything kind of turned into sleep for now. Whoop. We'll see what happens. Cap number five. Okay. Leave your guess in the comments. You can't. Do you, uh, wish you know, we got, we got to celebrate a, a good snowstorm. Close up my hand. Ah. Here, you want to hold it? Here, hold it. There you go. Whee! Whee! It's snowing! Whee! Hip hip hooray! We're trying to put the fire high in the sky so we get missed by the snow. <laughs> oh, it stopped snowing! Yes. Thor's like, what is that? He's like, I'll get involved. Oh. Dude. Well, so there's these rubbing. Cap number six. Oh. We can't seem to quite figure this one out. So leave it in the comments. I think it's cap number six. Cap number seven. It's a mirror. Leave it in the comments. Cap eight. Leave it in the comments. Well, so much for all the snow. Seems like we're getting a crap ton of rain now. Alright, well, we're about to cook dinner, and then uh, Barney says, shebang, shebang, chicken, chicken, wang, wang. I guess we're going to get a little bit wild tonight and uh, do these things. Ah! Yeah, let's go. What? Boom! <laughs> Whee! I remember when I had my first beer. <laughs> well, guys, it's coming down pretty good now we're gonna try to chop these steaks up I'm gonna throw a broccoli 
potatoes and some steak um, because we don't know how it's going to work over the stove. So we're going to throw it all in a tin foil. Oh, it's red right now. And uh, see what we can make happen. Oh, she is glowing. She's glowing now. Oh, man. All right. Well, guys, we're going to try to chop this bad boy up. The buddies went down yonder. It's hard to film stuff sometimes when you get talking and have a good old time and you start telling stories that you haven't heard in a minute. So it's uh it's coming down pretty good. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. But uh yeah. We're gonna chop this up, get this thing ready to rumble, and sit back and relax and uh have a good feed. Finally got a little bit of quiet time. If anybody knows what it's like filming with people, it's kind of tough sometimes. For some reason, we got a crap ton of rain coming now, so I don't know how much snow we're going to get. But we're going to season that bad boy, set that to the side, and uh, pull this tin foil out, throw the spuds in there, chop them up, throw the broccoli in there. We're just going to throw the whole shenanigan sauce together. And hopefully, it does us justice. Yeah, we'll see how this plays out. I'm gonna have a hard time stuffing all that into that tin, but we're gonna try to make something happen. Well, guys, this is gonna take a minute to cook. We're gonna have to try and <laughs> stay on stock in this thing. Because, as we know, last time we tried to cook on this thing with the pizzas, it took forever. So, hopefully, we can keep this right here and make a decent meal within a decent time, but I highly doubt it. So it's gonna be quite a bit of time. So by the time we come back, it might be a little woozy. <laughs> anyway, we'll cheer some beers. It's nothing but a good time. And it's great to share stories and uh, just hang out, you know? Like living life, having good food. We'll see what happens. Well, the snow is starting to come back. She's sizzling now. What's the same say? I bet it says 90. Yeah. It's got that spice, it's got a tang. That's a nice. Yeah, it's a nice. You get no meat, all veggies. Wow, <laughs> no pants. meat, all veggies. I feel like I'm sweating, bro. Dude, my pants are on fire, dude. Like, literally, it feels like I was hitting metal. <laughs> Look at the high in here. 98 degrees. It's a wee bit warm. Oh, the max of 102. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It yeah, awesome. it's a wee bit warm in here, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that. What do you think about that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> num num. Get you some of that in your life. What? Well. <coughs> stop screaming in here, would you? More. <laughs> Well, I completely spaced my phone charger and it's dead. Usually I wouldn't care, but I gotta get my kids today. So. Probably gonna have to pack up and beat some feet. What a wild night that was. Don't remember half of it. Good times. Well, wasn't as magical as they said, but we got a little snow. And as I said in the beginning, I was probably gonna drink too much on this one. And I did. Ah. So we're gonna have to skip out on breakfast, obviously. And I uh, forgot my dang charger. Um, so I gotta go see if I gotta get my kiddos. <laughs> yeah, life's a wild ride, guys. Anyway, next one should be more interesting. I promise. Anywho, make every day great exploring Earth. 
We'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a wonderful day.